Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on subtracting two decimal numbers. By decimal numbers I just mean there's a decimal point in each of these numbers and we want to just subtract the two. Now the method is very similar when you just want to subtract whole numbers. We want to make sure that we arrange the numbers so that digits of the same place value appear in the same column. So we're going to be doing column subtraction. So let's do that. We've got 13.7 and I want to subtract 4.8. So I have to make sure everything's the same place value in the same column. And the easy way to achieve that is to just make sure that the decimal point is in the same place vertically. So now I can put the four here and the eight here. And that ensures that both the three and the four are the units digit, that's the case. That's a units digit. And the seven and the eight will both be the tenths digit. So just make sure that everything's lined up by making sure the decimal points are lined up. And then we just do exactly the same thing as we usually do in subtracting whole numbers. We're going to make sure again that we've got this decimal point in the result. So what do we do? We want to do 7 minus 8. We start on the right, but we can't do that because 8 is bigger than 7, so we have to borrow from here. So remember, we cross that out, reduce it by 1, and that means we've borrowed a 1, which we put up here like that. That now allows us to do 17 minus 8, which is 9. Now we want to do 2 minus 4. Again, we can't do that. 4 is bigger than 2, so we have to borrow from here. The 1 becomes 0, which enables us to put a little 1 on here, because we borrow the 1, put it here. And now we can do 12 minus 4, which is 8. And that is the solution. We've got 8.9. That's it. No further adjustment required. Now this one, 3.2 minus 0.89, there's just one extra subtlety here. But if we write again the numbers such that the decimal points are aligned, so we've got 0.89. Now the only reason why it's slightly more difficult is that we've got a blank here. Now if we've got a blank here, we can just fill it in with a zero because that doesn't change the number. We're just saying that 3.2 has zero a hundredths. So if you've got any blank space, you can just fill it in with a zero. And now we can do exactly what we did before. We can do zero minus nine. We can't do that. So we borrow a one. So the two becomes one. And then we can put that borrowed one on here. 10 minus nine is now one. We want to do now one minus eight. We can't do that because eight is bigger than one. So again, we borrow the three drops down to two. And then we can put that borrowed one here, so it becomes 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. Again, if I've got decimal point here, decimal point here, I need to put the decimal point here. And finally, we've got 2 minus 0, which is just 2. And that is the final answer.